Welcome back to Snacks America's Queen. A uh, very special show in my hometown of Tulsa, Oklahoma. I think anytime people talk about food from Oklahoma, they always kind of say it's identity-less. People not from Oklahoma would say that, and nothing could be further from the truth. It's kind of a, it's more homogenized than, than one would think. Uh, amazing Italian down in the south, Oklahoma City has one of the greatest Vietnamese populations. And when you come to Tulsa, you're gonna do Mexican, not Tex-Mex, that's for Texas. We like our Tex-Mex here, but this is true Mexican. And actually right now, Denver should be hosting the show because he, he speaks some really nasty snack Spanish. But uh, I'm, I'm gonna go to try to do mine. But it's in a very odd spot. If you were visiting Tulsa, you wouldn't know in a very kind of strange, almost dodgy looking strip mall is a supermercado. It's called Morelos. Uh, you probably wouldn't go in there unless you want like a money order or to rent some furniture or could speak amazing Spanish and get some Mexican food to cook, if that makes sense. But what they have tucked away in the little corner is this little kind of, it's almost like a restaurant, almost like a buffet restaurant. They do the greatest tamales you've ever had. So we're gonna go inside. I'm uh, not gonna film inside because a tall white dude that doesn't really speak Spanish with a camera inside Morelos could be mistaken for INS. So we're gonna take some photos, then we're gonna have ourselves a little snack. So here we go. What I love about tamales is just that kind of antiquated look to them. You know, you've got the corn husk on the outside and inside you've got the, uh, the masa and the meat filling. And it hasn't really changed since 7,000 BC. These actually got their start. They would carry them into war because they, they, they stay around for so long. They're easy to carry and they're a delicious little snack. What I like about this spot, and the reason this is the best tamale to get in Oklahoma and one of the best places in the U.S., is because it's less masa and more meat filling. Uh, there's a reason that you'll never see like a baguette sandwich on the show because it's too much bread with meat. Here it's more meat than basically the starch outside the masa. So um, I'm gonna stop talking and eat because it's delicious. Just had our little tamale. I cannot tell you how great of a snack that is. And they're like $1.29 for one or two is something insane. Uh, so again, if you ever visit Tulsa, come to the Brookside area, basically where Brookside starts at 51st and Peoria. Come to the supermarket and just, I, the, the thing about tamales is I mentioned inside, I mean, it's like 7,000 BC we're talking about. And, and these things have been around for so long and they didn't get to America really until, until kind of the 1893 World Expo. Everybody remembers the book Devil in the White City by Eric Lawson. First time we had uh, Weedabix, first time we had Fig Newtons, first time we had a Ferris wheel. It was also the first time that we had tamales. But again, they look basically the same as they did 7,000 years ago. And inside Morello's, they cost about the same as they was about 7,000 years ago. So come to Tulsa, get yourself a tamale, and be incredibly happy. And we'll see you the next time on Snacks. We'll see you later.